Hello everyone, my name is Kamal, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to review the TT Artisan 50mm f2.0 lens. So this lens costs $70, can take photos like this and is filming me right now. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Now getting started, let's talk about the fit and finish because this lens doesn't disappoint. It's fully made of metal, all matte black. There's a silver model too, but you can't kill the black one, come on. It has very nice inscriptions on the front for the focal length and everything, with a very pretty font. It looks very vintage, but also feels, you know, very solid. It has the clicked aperture, the dampened focus ring. So if I give you this lens, you might have thought it was vintage, but there's no way in the world you would have guessed it cost $70, right? It's built like a tank and it looks the part doing so. But as cool as it looks, does it take good photos? In short, hell yeah. In long, well, that's a discussion. So this lens is very good. It's sharp. It has this very sharp look, but not the overly clean, overly sharp look that you associate with modern cameras, right? So it has a lot of personality in its shots. And I took photos like these with it. And as you can see, anything I point this lens at looks good, it's just a fact, right? And as such, I really think this lens takes good photos. Now, it's a manual lens, that's something important to take in mind because it doesn't have autofocus. So, since it doesn't have autofocus, focusing by yourself, now I do have people on my cam, you might not, but that's something to take into consideration. And besides that, of course, there are some shortcomings. If I open it up to f2, the center is going to become a bit softer, going to have some vignetting. But every lens suffers from this. It's not a shortcoming of this one, it's just physics. And as such, really, there's nothing wrong with this lens. Obviously, you could buy a more expensive lens that has a better aperture. You know, it looks sharper, it's better in low light, has less distortion. But day to day, this is a pretty good 50mm lens. It's compact, it looks good, it takes very good photos. And that leads me to the third category, which is, who is this for? Now, this is a question I asked myself initially when I was looking at this lens, but after having used it, I can safely say I have the answer. Number one, for people who grew up with analog photography, right? With film photography, you're used to your old cameras and you want something that works kind of the same, but I think this is a pretty good contender if you wanna go for this. As for the second contender for this lens, it's just people on the budget, you know? This lens shows you don't really have to break the bank to get like pretty good lenses. And number three is just for beginners, right? When you're a beginner, you don't want to invest too much into photography because you're probably not making too much money from it. Uh, so I think that having a lens like this, well, not only it's affordable and not breaking your wallet, but also makes it so that you get used to the techniques and such because it's a prime lens, right? So you have to compose properly and you can't zoom in. And also because it's a manual lens. As easy as uh, autofocus makes things for beginners, I think manual focus is a good tool to learn, especially if you're just getting started. And that wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in this lens. Tell me if you like the video, dislike the video, and what you'd like to see next. All my socials are probably in the description, hopefully. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.